To understand the lore and the legends that grew up around the drovers and their beasts, you need a picture of places like Skye around about the beginning of the 16th century. Imagine these hillsides and all the islands beyond black with cattle. Literally black because that was the colour of the original Kylos, the name given to the highland cattle of the Hebrides. A couple of centuries before the West was won, all this was like Texas. The Lairds were the great cattle barons and the drovers the original cowboys. But now one man wants to revive it in a very dramatic way to try to find out exactly what it was like. Nobody was under any illusion that the trek across Skye and thereafter across Scotland was going to be easy. Odd as it may seem, for these modern-day drovers, it was likely to be more difficult than for their kilted counterparts of two or three hundred years ago. And the drovers themselves? Well, they're an unlikely mixture, to say the least. There's the leader, John Kay, an author and Himalayan adventurer, whose obsession to reenact an old drove and write a book about it has brought them all together. John's wife, Julia, who's along to lead and look after the pack ponies. George Knight, an experienced stockman from Argyle, and, on everybody's admission, the nearest thing to a real drover on the trek. During the drove itself, as the old drovers passed from hamlet to hamlet, the locals were never quite sure whether to lock up their cattle or their daughters first. But despite their occasional villainy, the travellers were held in high regard. They were a ready source of money to communities that had no experience of life beyond their own mountain passes. In the old days, the drovers used to make their herds swim the treacherous ocean strip which separates Skye from the mainland. Kay was determined to try that too. Cattle do swim, but would these comparatively domesticated animals show much stomach for it? Would the drovers have the skill to get them across? Before risking his herd in the Atlantic Ocean, he decided to have a rehearsal in the freezing cold but comparatively quiet waters of a sea lock. You can lead a bullock to water, but you can't necessarily make him swim. At least, not in the direction you want him to go. With the help of some local fishermen, the drovers make quite a splash. In the end, the cattle decide that bracing as an October dip in a Scottish lock may be for humans, they prefer terra firma. Seen be swimming sharply, but many's a time, but I never, I've never had the trick at all. This is my first go. <laughs> what we haven't really got is we haven't got a good enough leader, have we? So, in the end, like all the other modern travellers passing through, John Kay's Highland herd catched the ferry. Agus Chilishin a gekin te jidach marachaigan a drawer than rot yedug a frogram. Nashe va fagin let 